In Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1, our Bible says, For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. One of the big pressures in life today is time. It is more and more of a pressure on people where they don't know how they'll get done what they need to get done in the allotted time available to them. Why well, pray today with God's help that you use your time in a new wise way and a new efficient way? Because you have so much to do, it may seem as though your day is not long enough as it should be. However, when you seek divine guidance, you will discover that you are not in your day alone, that you're in there with God. And if you will accept God's help, time will seem like it expands in front of you. I pray today that you rely upon divine guidance and begin to set your day in order and to set your life in order. You do not spend valuable time fretting about not having enough time because that that you focus on will magnify. And if you focus enough on not having enough time, I guarantee you, my friend, you will not have enough time. Instead, you take time to plan what you need to do in your home or your workplace to bring about order and efficiency with God's help. First thing before you do anything is you go to God in prayer. You also plan some time, which I talk about often, for leisure, for playing, for hobbies, for reading, to renew yourself. Something that is of special interest to you, something that makes your life really blossom. You do not anymore allow time to control you. You allow God to take the control of your time. You follow divine guidance and in so doing, you become in control of your time also. You use your time wisely and efficiently with God's help. And you accomplish much. But more than that, you enjoy it. You enjoy what you do because God is doing it through you.